Hey, what it do, man? So, welcome back to another video. So, I don't know if y'all were here last time, but welcome back. And, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, last time, I was talking about, basically, why is it so important to, you know what I'm saying, manage your time properly. And people still was kind of messaging me about that video. The video did very well for it right on its own. But anyway, somebody messaged me. And they said, man, I see why you're able to stay, stay so consistent with working out. And the thing is, is like, I can't do it because I got work in school, you know what I'm saying? So it's really hard for me to get in the, in the gym. So I said kudos to you. But the thing is, you can. You can do all three of those. That's what that video was. The purpose of that video was to let you know you can go to work. You can go to school and still whatever it is. It ain't got to just be the gym. It can be whatever you're trying to get grind towards. You can do it. You can do it. And that's what we're going to talk about here today. So how can you work, go to school, and hit the gym or do whatever you want to do that's going to help you better your life or, you know what I'm saying, just do what you need to do in general. And what you have to do is make a schedule. So too many people, they go through life, they kind of just wing it. People don't want to sit down and be like, okay, what is, it, what is it that I need to do so that I can be productive and efficient throughout my day? And again, you got to make a schedule. Even if you're not writing it down, you need to make a mental block in your head. Okay, so I'm going to go to school at 6, I'm going to get to school at 2, go to work from 2 to 8. After work, I can hit the gym for two hours to an hour and 30 minutes. Eight to about, well, you know, it takes time to get there. So about 8.30 to about 10.30. And then go home, eat, and prep for the rest of the next day. You know what I'm saying? And keep that cycle going. It all boils down to what you're willing to sacrifice. See, that's the thing. People want things, but they don't willing to sacrifice to get those things. And that's the problem. You got to be able to sacrifice certain things so that you can get to where you want to be. Such as, okay, I need to hit the gym so I can be a better version of myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to negate everything. That's why I said in one of my previous videos, you got to remove all the people in your life that's not trying to help you be a better you. So negate the people and the distractions that's not helping you go, get towards your goals because at the end of the day what's more important pleasing this person or pleasing yourself and saying I'm becoming a better version of me too many people gonna say the latter they're gonna say pleasing this person and then in reality that person really don't even care about you so you need to get your head straight and make yourself a schedule I'm telling you whenever you have some laid out you're like oh okay I got my little list here I knock that off, knock this off, knock this off. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's important to have a list. Because when you just weak, even if you just mentally keep it, when you just when you just trying to wing it and just go throughout your day, something gonna go wrong because it's no structure in what you're doing. It gotta be structure in what you're doing, man. No matter what you're doing. So yeah, don't be surprised when you're trying to hit the gym. You're like, man, I ain't got no time. Of course not. How, how could you have time when you're not planning to have time? You have to plan to have things. Nothing just happens. That's why I'm a firm believer in luck doesn't exist. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. That's what luck is. It's not no such thing as, oh, he's lucky. No, it's not luck. It's he been putting in that grind and that work and they seen the opportunity and he cashed in. Just like a basketball, so any sports you play, just like you put in all that work. And then when they say, when you put in all that work, you put in that overtime, you come in early and leaving late while everybody else just bullshitting. Whenever they give you that chance to shine, you be like, oh shit, I've been already, y'all you know, been doing this already. This ain't nothing new. I ain't even nervous. I'm just going to do what I've been doing before I made it here. Preparation meets opportunity. That's love. Love don't exist. So, Get out your head that, oh, this is just all going to fall in place because it's not. If you're not planning on it, it ain't going to happen. Period. 
don't nobody get lucky unless it's like the lottery or something. You see what I'm saying? So don't even count on it. That's the exception to the rule anyway. That's not the rule. So get in the headspace of writing stuff down. Number two, whenever you trying to do something, you need to prioritize it. Too many people, they don't prioritize whatever they're trying to do. They're trying to lose weight. They're trying to make more money. If you're trying to make more money and you're going to school or whatever, since you got kids, work, work, school, um, your friends, work, whatever it is, if you want a third thing to do and make time to do that, you need to make sure you're prioritizing it. So, okay, I understand you can't, you know what I'm saying, say, oh, no to the kids or to work because that's your well-being or school because that's your future, you know what I'm saying, income. But if you're just your friends, man, you need to get your priorities together. But if it's the, the latter two, the others, this is what you can do. So you can work. Okay, so whatever your work schedule is, let's say, all right, let me just go from it myself, for example. So you work in about, what, 4 to 2.30, 5 to 2.30, right? So you can say, okay, I'm also going to school, and I'm also trying to work out. So what you going to do? From 4 to 2.30, you're going to go to work. And then you got school from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. What is that? That's 2.30 to 6. What is that? That's two hours. So in that little time, you need to meal prep. And you can do you get your workout in right then. That's how you do it. Boom. And just write that down. And be like, okay, so in the morning, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to eat breakfast. After that, I'm going to go to work. Then after work, I'm going to get off, eat me a little protein something, protein snack, protein, pre-workout meal, boom, okay, go to the gym, that's about an hour and a half, alright, so that's about 3.30 when I went an hour and a half would be okay, about 5, so look, got an hour to, you know what I'm saying, right there, so 30 minutes, I'm going to meal prep for when I get out of school, boom, now it's 9 o'clock, you're out of school, now you can prep for the next day, and then what you also want to do, so you can do this, is see what went wrong so that's the first two prioritize it and also you gotta make a schedule and last but not least be mindful of what you're spending time on what went wrong and what can I do to make sure that doesn't go wrong if something goes wrong realize what it is and fix it so if I'm give you an example okay so you're supposed to go to the gym at 3 30 but you did why didn't you okay Traffic, okay, take a better route. Okay, um, I forgot my backpack. Be more mindful, write down everything you need before you leave the house so you don't forget anything. You see what I'm saying? Just little things like that. Planning and executing, that's all it is. But anyway, y'all, I hope this is helpful for y'all. Like, comment, and share, and I want y'all to get at me in the next one. All right, y'all, peace.